Welcome back, this is the Amber Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal. I'd uh, talked about joining the Type Racer Discord last episode, and this episode I have. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, this episode I had. Uh, between the last and this episode, I there was a race in the Discord. A little private room for us to race in, and it was fun to join that. I was. Uh, I was winning most of the races until um, I started getting bleh, started getting tilted. <laughs> it was about like 40 minutes ish of racing, so it was it was quite a few races. And uh, yeah, you just you just kind of get a little bit worn out at the end of it, you know. Fingers kind of feeling it a little bit. You can't really type at your best. Wrists even start to get a little bit sore, you know. Not really like anything major, but you're just like, yep, nope, it's uh. It's time to just not do this anymore, you know? It's time to stop. 40, 40 minutes of typing is enough typing. Um, so I've uh, got back to recording here, but it was fun. Um, it, was really, it was really fun to, to see like uh, an ongoing race against sort of the same people and, and having that kind of, uh, I'd say, competition. Um, but it kind of wasn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, uh, but there there was one person there who put up a couple of good times in, 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 to me, you know, like in, in from my perspective. Um, one person there who put up a couple of good times, like uh, once or twice, kind of thing. Um, but other than those like few races, um, there was really just no real competition. It was it was it was me winning and then all of them kind of competing. So. I felt a little bit bad being a part of it because, I mean, most of them didn't stand a chance uh, until I started getting tilted and they started winning. Uh, and towards the end, somebody else joined in who uh, who was more on my level, who would have been competition, but like I was tilted, I was I was fatigued, and I couldn't I couldn't continue playing even though I wanted to because I'm like, ooh, we actually have like competition here. There's actual, um, you know, there, there's actually people here to to, to race against and, and actually have like a competition kind of thing going on which would have been very fun um, I, I just couldn't it's time to stop typing and I have to record this episode as well and so I wish I could have kept playing because it would have been cool but it is what it is right it's first day in the discord and we've uh, we've got that going on so I, I look forward to, to being a part of the discord more going forward and uh, join more races like that because it was really fun. It was it was a lot of fun actually. Um, you know, I've I've raced against friends and stuff like that on occasion. None of them put up a like challenge to me at all. Um, amongst everybody in my life, I'm the only person who has like a passion for typing. Uh, and as a result, I'm the only person who puts up a good time, you know, from, from my perspective again. You know, from their perspectives, they're, they're typing their best and, and doing the best they can. From my perspective, it's like I couldn't type that fast if I, or I couldn't type that slow if I tried. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not really fun for, for either of us because I don't get a challenge and they don't have any chance of winning. So it's, it's just typing to them and they don't have a passion for that. So there's no, there's no real competition involved to kind of adds that excitement um, whereas on the on the discord server there definitely was um, even before the the one person came in when I was tilted there was the one person who uh, I was typically typing about 130 to, to 140 ish they were doing like a, a 100 to 120 ish so they weren't too far off but um, they were definitely like they weren't they weren't competition so much outside of a couple races that they uh, they happened to have uh, an enormous amount of practice with which was uh, fun, but uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun um, joining that, and I, I'll definitely do it again in the future. Because um, uh, it's just, it's just fun typing with the same people, you know. Even if they're not uh, fast, even if there's no competition, it's just it's fun to to kind of be a part of that and be able to kind of like talk to each other about the quotes and you know how much you got tilted or, or you know whatever. Like it's just it's just fun to to kind of be a part of that, right? And um, yeah. Oops. Sure. 
much. Okay. Uh, it's just fun, it's fun to be the part of that, right? So, game. that's kind of where I'm at now. Happy I joined. Very, very happy I joined. And had a lot of fun uh, racing as well. A lot of fun racing. I'll, uh, I'll probably join back in in, uh, in a bit if they're still racing. And you have to take like a you know, 15, 20 minute break kind of thing to to get back into typing. The sad thing is is uh, when I started my average was 140. My average dropped to like 132 or something like that. So I was not putting up staggeringly good times. Unfortunately, I didn't put up like any 150s, any 160s or anything like that. Um, so it's funny because the the the, qu the the quotes I believe on the on the on Type Racer are built to like are, are are balanced, right? So there's there's hard quotes and easier quotes. Um, so when you're when you're typing, you, you you'll get uh, quotes with like a lot of punctuation and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, and as as one of the best typists on the website, I of course get the races which are balanced to be. You know, considered hard, harder races, things that uh, people like me would get, right? Uh, whereas people hosting the race were, were lower challenged. So I think we we're getting a lot of quotes that I'm not used to, that are. Uh... So I wasn't able to like type as quickly, like just the like the the way that the quotes were kind of like built, um, the reasons why they were balanced to be like easier, just for me wasn't what I was used to when it, when it comes to a competitive environment. So I, I think I was doing a little bit worse because of that. And worse in the sense that I was still getting like 146, 147, you know. Like I wasn't doing bad by any measure. Um, but if it was uh, if it was races that were balanced to me, I think I would have been doing perhaps a little bit better. I would have had a little bit more consistency with the 150s maybe. I wanted to put up a 150 before I ran. Um, but, uh, you know, is what it is. I was I was tilted. Can't keep playing when you're tilted. It's it's a sign that your your fingers are needing a break, and it's a sign that uh, your average is going to keep dropping. So you want to you want to take a break when you're when you're feeling that fatigue for sure. Okay. Okay. You want you want to you want to take a break when you when you're feeling that uh, that tilt. You know. It's important to take care of yourself. A lot of people doing hours and hours and hours of type racer every day, and it's it's fine for the most part. But at the same time, like you know, take care of yourself, right? Now that's time. Don't let your don't let your your passion for typing end up uh, causing you to get any kind of physical injury or something. But yeah, it's just, like, that's what my day's been is, is joining the the Discord server for type racer and having an absolute ball with it. Just an absolute ball. Um, it's been it's been fun. I'm really really glad I joined. Uh, I do prefer the Glock though. You could use the the Rhinos for one way for you know. But can't uh, can't use it for the boss wave. I mean, we could. We can beat it with the nine mil. But to this, my work. Yeah, maybe after this episode, I'll, I'll go back if they're still racing. I hope they are. Once I kind of have a little bit of a break and and uh, relax a bit, get back into the typing mood. Let my fingers relax. But you know, you're playing like games and stuff like that. But it's not as fatiguing on the fingers, right? Like I'm, I'm hitting lots of lots of keys for for like match, but at, at the end of the day, the amount of keys I hit, like you know, it's probably it's probably worth uh, investigating actually. The amount of keys I hit in like an episode of of Killing Floor Two, probably about as many keys as I'd hit like like a, a half hour episode of Killing Floor Two. I probably hit as many keys as I'd hit in like two three minutes of, of racing on Type Racer. You know, so like, it, it, it's it's hugely uh, there's there's a huge difference between the amount of um, keys being pressed, and, and so even though I'm still doing stuff with my fingers, it's different stuff, and uh, much more relaxing, for sure. That's why a lot of people use stenotype actually. Oops, wrong button. This one. Who's short of cash? Uh, stenotype is a. Uh, 
like type of keyboard where like a specific key or combination of keys will um, like punch in as, like a word or um, something, you know? So you hit like A and it puts on, you know? And you hit like A plus N and you get like with, right? So you can kind of like press keys in the right combination. It just kind of inserts the words. Um, so if you're typing like 200 words per minute on Steno, you're, you're pushing, you're like moving your hands as much as if you were to be typing like, you know, maybe 60 words per minute on QWERTY, right? So very, very slow. Very relaxing. That's why a lot of people uh, choose to type Steno or choose to learn it. It's just because it's a, it's a more relaxing kind of way to do it and it's kind of fun, right? I've been thinking about it. It's not very easy though, is, is, the, is the problem. And, and you can't type like everything with it. Well, you can. Um, just like some things are really not convenient to type on Steno, and um, so it's you. It's, it's really only used for like words that are commonly used. Um, you know, not so much for for general typing. You wouldn't use it for programming or something like that. I mean, you could uh, if you set up your your Steno for it. You could definitely could. Just no, it's not. It's not really the the, the pra a practical use case of. Uh, of Steno. Not really. Uh, let's go for the block. Um, so, you know. But I've been thinking about maybe learning it. The issue for me is that I enjoy QWERTY typing, right? Like, I just, I like it. I don't, I don't necessarily need to... To learn Steno, because I have fun typing with QWERTY. To me, it's enjoyable. To me, it is enjoyable. There's no real benefit to it. I'd just be like learning a different type of thing, and then I'd still, I don't know, I guess I'd kind of like, it feels like I'd be giving up on QWERTY if I were to, to learn Steno. You know, and I know that wouldn't be the, the case, but like, I just, I feel like I want to get better at QWERTY. I don't want to get better at Steno. I want to learn it because it'd be like fun and nifty, and I want to like type fast and stuff, but I feel like it would be counterproductive to like sort of my long term goals as a typist. Oh, oh, oh no! Aww. I'll be honest with you, I don't really want to do another Elysium. <laughs> so, we're just going to end it there. Um, I don't really want to do another one. That's really what it boils down to. Um, but yeah, so it's just, uh, I don't really mind talking, I just don't want to play Elysium. So, I don't know, I might, I might learn Steno. I just I feel like I'd be giving up on QWERTY, you know? I feel, I feel like it, it, it'd be it'd be taking away from time I could be using to, to practice my, my QWERTY typing skills. You know, I can I can type at like 170, 180 as, as a QWERTY typist if I just keep putting in the practice and, and keep making sure that I, um, you know, get, get better at it. I can get up to like 170, 180. It's not too far away. Um, you know, Steno, if I were to do that, it'd just be, I don't know. Doesn't really feel productive to me. It'd be fun, but not productive. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm all about fun, not all about productivity. But when it comes to typing, I kind of, I kind of flip. You know. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Sorry for the shorter episode. It's actually like two shorter episodes because they're both kind of weird. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more of the future commentary. Anything to say? I'll see you next time. Bye bye.